What's up everyone? I'm Janitor Jake. And I'm Chris K. And welcome to the American Gaming Geeks. Alright, and welcome back for another episode. Now, if you're new to the channel and you want to get right straight to the gameplay, you can go to this number right here, and it'll take you right to the gameplay. Otherwise, we're going to get the show started. So, Chris, what's new with you in the world of gaming? Well, you know, we just beat Zero Tolerance, and I went to <clears throat> Goodwill, and I saw this movie. I'm like, well, heck, I'm going to buy it. It's Zero Tolerance. Zero yeah, tolerance. good old Zero Tolerance. Dustin, no, it's not. It's I'm just kidding. It's a different Zero Tolerance. Completely different movie. And that was the thing I was talking about with you before. After we beat the game, I was like, this would be an awesome movie. I know, it would be amazing. I've been looking at my Sega Genesis collection. And I hardly ever go through these like, ah, oh, sports games, sports games. It's like, wait a minute. These aren't just sports games. These are the sports games that I grew up with. And it's like, I pull it out and I'm like, I'm like I would never get excited, go to a thrift store or go to a game store and be like, Oh, they got golf. Yeah, golf. Oh, they got basketball. Mad. <laughs> no, but I'm going through the games that I played like when I was like really little. Well, not really little, but fairly little. I was a, I was a kid. I was growing up with these games, and I, you know, I'm pulling them out. I was like, oh man, I remember playing this basketball game. I remember playing this this golf game, and there's just so much nostalgia to this particular game because I played it. Yeah. But in general, like. I don't know. It's you know. I don't. I'm not. I don't really go for those kinds of games. But I think I'll. I'll enjoy playing those games again. I think I'm gonna pop them in and give it a shot. So anyway, nothing too new with me in the world of gaming. Now there was a local flea market that came to town, and there was a a vendor there specifically selling video games. I think they own a game store in like another state. But they go and they travel and hit up the flea markets. And so I went over there and looked around. And I found some goodies. So I'm gonna show them off. So the first thing I got is this. The Dragon Warrior Explorer's Handbook, the actual map for Dragon Warrior, and the Dragon Warrior Adventure Guide. The thing is, Dragon Warrior is my favorite game on the Nintendo Entertainment System, <laughs> and I've never owned these. And so actually owning these, it's crazy because it's like finding a hidden gem in like an area you've always been to. Yeah. I've always wanted these for a very long time. I've been wanting this, and I found it over there for dirt cheap, and so I decided to pick it up. They just had that just sitting around. They had this in boxes with manuals. Wow. They had a huge tub with a bunch of huh. manuals, and this was in there for dirt cheap. That's crazy. And uh, the next thing I got is Mission Impossible for the NES, the box and manual only. Really? Uh, it was pretty cheap. The thing is, I already owned the game, but I did not have the box and manual. And huh. so I took my game and put it in here, but the box is in really, really great condition. That's amazing. It's not all busted up and banged up. And open it up, and of course my game is in there. And it did come with the manual and the whole not, and it came with the sleeve Sweet. and even the styrofoam insert. Huh. So I knew I already had the game, but I did not own the box or anything like that. So because I found it for cheap enough, I decided to pick that up to have Mission Impossible complete in the box. Wow. And the next game I picked up is a PS1 game, and that is Reloaded, the hardcore sequel. Now I have the original game loaded. And uh, I always loved playing that game. I, I saw it as a kid and stuff like that and always wanted it growing up and never owned it. And then in more recent years, I picked it up and thought it was awesome. That Loaded is the game where you play like a bunch of psychopaths in a psych psycho ward. And <laughs> okay. you run around and shoot things up. And I've always wanted the sequel to it. And they had the sequel there in great condition. It is complete. Um, that's how I've been getting all my stuff lately is I make sure it is complete and in really good condition. Disc is great. Manual is great. And I thought it was an awesome find. <laughs> Next up is a game I've been wanting for a while. I bought it once a long time ago. I think when it came out new, I ended up buying it. And then when I sold my PS2, I ended up selling it along with it. And for years, I've been wanting to get it back. And that is Obscure the Aftermath, which is actually the sequel 
to the video game Obscure. It's basically a survival horror game, hmm. and it is complete, super awesome. I'm really glad I found it because I've been looking for it for a really long time, but I could never find it. Hmm. And next up is a Genesis game that I've always been wanting, and that is Cool Spot Complete in the Box. I have oh. owned Cool Spot ever since I was a kid, one of my favorite games playing growing up. However, I never had it in the actual box with the manual. And this time, it came complete and in pristine condition. Amazing. Manual is basically mint condition, and the box itself is in mint condition. And for a long time, I've been wanting it complete in the box, and to finally find it over there, that was awesome. That's sweet. And next up is a little bit more of a boo-boo. Um, because I was digging around finding all these games, I found this, Sword of Vermilion. And I've been looking for this for a long time, and I was like, oh, wow, grabbing it, grabbing it, just grabbing this and trying to calculate how much money is. And I did not realize, not complete. Mm. Missing the manual. And according to the box, it says, 106-page hint book included. So not only, I mean, unless they're considering that the manual, but I think it comes with the manual and a hint book. Ooh. And that's missing. So just kind of a dumb mistake on my part, grabbing stuff and then seeing this and trying to make sure. Because yeah. when you're buying stuff, I want to make sure, like, let's say, for example, I'm going to spend $100. I have a $100 bill. I don't want to be like, okay, here's $5 worth of stuff. Here's a $100 bill. Yeah, if yeah. they don't have that kind of change. Yeah, so you got to so, get enough stuff to make it worth their and so while. So I was trying to like grab stuff, and I was like in a hurry, and I didn't even think. I must have just opened it up and was like, oh, fine. Hmm. Didn't even think about it. Stupid. So last but certainly not least is what I would consider probably the best find I found over there. And that is Corpse Killer for the Sega CD. Number one. Yeah, you see that? You've never seen that before. No, I haven't. Corpse Killer for Sega CD. Huh. Number one, we never find Sega CD games around here. No, never. Number two, in this kind of pristine condition... It's, and it's cardboard too. I'm I've always owned Sega CD games that come with the plastic. Yeah, yeah. And this one is cardboard. Wow. And it is complete as far as I know. I think there might be like some inserts <laughs> that are missing, but it does have the manual. Yeah. And it does come with the CD. Yeah. And so it was awesome finding this in there. I was like, holy cow! I have to buy it. Like I said, number one, we never find Sega CD games around here. Number two, finding it in this condition. And number three, it's Corpse Killer. Yeah. I've always wanted this game for a long time, and that the fact that I found it, not only found it, but in immaculate, amazing condition, was an awesome find. I think it was the best find there. Yeah. All right. You know what I've never seen is a Sega Saturn, though. It's like, I played Sega Saturn. Well, I know. <laughs> yeah, you got one. Yeah, and never find those things. All right, and time to get to the actual game. And the game we're playing today is Interactive CD Sampler Pack, Volume Volume 3. I love that game. A demo disc. <laughs> so the thing is, when I grew up playing the PlayStation around 11, 12 years old, I played a lot of demo discs. I was even subscribed to the official U.S. PlayStation magazine where they gave out demo discs. And of course, over the years and stuff, I've actually lost my CDs and different demo discs and stuff, which really make me mad. However, this one, I do believe, is the original demo disc I played as a kid. And I used to play demo discs all the time. Yeah. And so I don't remember what's on here. Last time I played this, I was like 12 years old. Huh. So this is basically going to be kind of like a reaction, blind playthrough of all the demos on here. Sweet. So, uh, of course, I don't have the original box. I don't even know if this came in a box or anything like that. Hmm. But uh, without further ado, well, we're going to pop the puppy in and get going. You ready to play? I'm game. Stick it in the Nintendo. Crap, that's crazy. Yeah, I remember this. This is awesome seeing this all over again. Crash Bandicoot. That music, too. Twisted Metal. Huh. Oh, I think this is Twisted Metal 2. Oh. Yeah, because that's... I remember that guy. Huh. That's, that's a game we got to play. I think this is one of those college football... Yeah, Penn State. Huh. It's like... Yeah, one of the college games. 
You know that one. Tekken. I don't know if that's two or three or which one that's. It's one. not three. Maybe it's two. Yeah. Yeah, I don't recognize the world. Ridge Racer, I think that's Ridge Racer. Huh. Oh, and I used to love playing this game, too, on, on the demo disc. Huh. Oh, <laughs> dear. That's the thing, too, like, with these, like, PlayStation. It, it felt like how Sega Genesis was to the Super Nintendo. Like, Super Nintendo was for kids, and then the Sega Genesis like, yeah, we're for teenagers. Oh. That's, like, what the PS1 feels like to me. It was, like, meant for, like, late teenagers... And people in, like, their early 20s. Oh. Like, this is for somebody who would be, like, 20 years old. Yeah. Even reading some of the old magazines, too, they, like, swear and stuff in them. Huh. Yeah, look at all these demos we get to play. I think oh. some of them, though, you can only watch. But we got Ridge Racer Revolution, Crash Bandicoot, NCAA Football Game Breaker, huh. Blast Chamber, Formula One. Yeah, this is crazy seeing all this again. This is what I used to play as a kid. Oh, yeah, that's just the video. Huh. All right, so we are going to go with Ridge Racer Revolution right All off right. the bat. And look at it's the original controller, too. Wow, no toggles. No dual shock. Yeah, this is crazy playing these old demo discs after this. Oh, I remember this. On some of these old PS1 games, you get to, during the loading screen. Oh, really? You get that's to, awesome. You get to play um, I've never seen whatever. that. Galaga, Galaxian, whatever. I can't remember the name of it. That's Ridge a really great way to pass the time while it's loading. That's yeah, exactly. awesome. I hate sitting there watching that spinning wheel. <laughs> yummy, <laughs> yummy. Oh, that sucks. So because I redlined it, I, d I never liked driving in games like this. Mm. I don't know. It's like, oh, it's cool. Look at it. You know. Whoa, these controls are tight. They're tight, tight. bro! <laughs> Whoa, dude! What's tight? Holy smoke, look at that. Look at that! <laughs> Alright, how do I back up now? Namco. I don't even know how to reverse. Here's the um, thing, too, with, like, racing. Look at that, that looks awesome. Yeah. Here's the thing about, like, certain racing games. I never really was a fan of huge racing games. I just never got into it that much. However, there were certain ones that I loved. I loved Gran Turismo and, and games like that. And Ridge Racer, I loved, even though I never played the game. It was because I used to play this demo all the time. Mm. And so I always loved it. But I also always, like, I love the looks of, like, when you go into tunnels and stuff. Jeez. Spinning out everywhere. It just starts gripping and then it slams you into the wall. I'm in last place, apparently. Yeah. Everyone's cheering and going crazy. Oh, and you got a time limit. You got Pac-Man up oh, there. Oh, yeah, it was pretty cool seeing Pac-Man. I wonder if it's, it's from Namco. Namco. That's right. Game over. You lost, loser. <laughs> now we're going to sit for an hour. Typical demo disc. <laughs> Can't handle the transition between games. Probably have to hit reset on it. All right, so that was Ridge Racer Revolution. That's one thing I hate, though. Now I got to turn the volume down. All then the volume is different, but from game to game. Yeah. So then when we go to Crash Bandicoot, I probably got to crank it up. So I'm gonna pass it off to you. All right. And we're gonna go to Crash Bandicoot. I've never actually played Crash Bandicoot. <gasps> Yeah, I know. Yeah, I love that music too, man. It brings back so many memories here in that. Exit. Yeah, it looks like they only use like really two buttons: X to jump and then circle or square to do the spin dash. Oh, Naughty dog. dog. Here's the thing that's crazy: I literally just saw a commercial for a brand new Crash Bandicoot game coming out, and The Last of Us Part Two just came out. Yeah, I saw that. And that. Oh yeah, so jump on is that, that. Made by Naughty Dog. And there's like a block box right above that right there oh cool who knew it's like the turtle shells and then in if Mario. you hit the spin button oh huh. 
And that TNT will hurt you. That oh. tiki head thing kind of acts like a hit point, basically. Do you think they were going for like a Tasmanian devil kind of thing with this? Could have been. Hmm. I guess that's a pit, huh? You could spin into that thing. Oh, really? Uh -huh. That's the thing. I never grew up playing Crash Bandicoot either. The only thing I know about Crash Bandicoot was from this demo disc. Hmm. I used to play it all the time. They're just following it, falling into the pit. Oh yeah, you got one of those skunk pits, huh? <laughs> like, what is that? And that's oh. that's like the plant straight out of um th that movie with Rick Moranis. I'm just gonna say that Rick Moranis film. You know what it reminds me of? It reminds me of Mario. There's a lot of stuff in here. That reminds me of Mario, like oh, that yeah. plant thing. Piranha plant. Yeah. Um, the uh, the mushrooms. They had red mushrooms over there. Oh yeah, the the red mushrooms that you eat. Yeah. And that wheel reminds me of Indiana Jones. I don't know who that's. Oh, there's a pit there. I didn't even see it because of all the skunks and the. Okay. I don't. I don't have the manual. I don't know what that's. What the storyline with it is. So I'm not even really sure what that tiki thing is supposed to. Be. And Crash Bandicoot to me is like Kirby. Like I said when we played Kirby's Dreamland, it's a huge giant franchise, but I never grew up playing it, so I know nothing about it. Yeah. Even though Crash Bandicoot was pretty much supposed to be like. Where a lot of people have adopted him as being the PlayStation's mascot. Yeah. Oh, yeah, there you lost him. Oh, I see. I love the design, too, on the tiki poles. Huh, yeah. Like, um... Okay. Hootabooga! That's one thing I always took away from this game. Hootabooga! Boom, 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 boom. Hootabooga! Boom, 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 boom. Yeah, and you can bust through those. Oh. Hey, Chaos Emerald. Exactly, Chaos Emerald from Sonic. I think you just jump straight up. And then you get all three of those and it takes you to a bonus round. Oh. Kind of like in Donkey Kong Country. Ah. Oh. Or maybe it's just Six. extra lives. Oh, I, don't I know, know there is something, though. You get to go to a bonus round. I don't remember where that came into play. Huh. Oh, maybe it's those. Oh. I think you get one more, and that takes you to a bonus round. Mm. Oh, yeah, and coming up here is kind of that tricky nonsense where you hit jump and spin if you want to get that thing in the middle without hitting the TNT. Oh, oh, I see what you're saying. Well, I hit it anyway. I, I love like the this. look of the stage, too. Look at that face. Yeah, that's what I was saying. It's like all the, goofy. The totem poles I was thinking about, they have these, like, creepy yeah. faces on there. Like, those are, like, vampires. Yeah, this is pretty pretty directional. It's like almost like a side scroller. It just like sends you in one direction. Yeah, three dimensional side scroller going up. Yeah. The only thing that's irritating is in the real game, there's that point where it, you run towards the camera. I like this music. Kind of reminds me of Toy Story. Yeah. On the Sega Genesis. And I do love the look. That's the thing. I love kind of like the jungly atmosphere going on. And that's kind of like Candy. She reminds me of Candy, like Candy's save point in Donkey Kong Country. Hmm. That was the end of this, the, that. Oh. <laughs> Got too close. That's interesting. Yeah, here is where the end is, so just run yeah. and jump in there and good to go. Okay, so big swirling light means success. <clears throat> Alright, so I'm going to go NCAA Football Game Breaker. Oh, great. Here we go. Spin, hurdle, speed, dive, R1, L1, R2, L2. But then if you flip the controller upside down, it's like, <laughs> holy cow. <laughs> but yeah, I remember playing this disc all the time. It's weird because I forgot the games that are on here. It's crazy seeing them all again. <laughs> yeah. Away or home? Gators. I want to play as the Gator. Actually, I, I want to play Wisconsin, but I don't know if he can pick. Hmm. Fine, I'm going to go with the Gators. Yeah. Yeah, that's probably it. Gatorade. <laughs> H2O. Gatorade. T 
Look how fast they're running. <laughs> Florida Press for heads or tails. I'm going to go heads. And there we go. Florida will choose. And we'll just receive. <laughs> it's weird because I have like, um... <laughs> oh, yeah! Shotgun pro set. Man, I don't remember which plays I used to do. We'll just do a shotgun. Why not? Ooh. I'll try to do a deep post. That way, if we'll see. Oh, I don't even know how to pass. X X okay. square L two R two left right F. Try that again. I'll try another deep post. Cause I'm thinking I can get one guy to run out really far, and the other one can come in kind of close, mm. like there. Because I'm used to playing Madden 16 on the PS4. And that's the thing, like, how I used to play these games. I just always would find, like, one play and just play it over and over and over and over to where, like, I knew where all my guys were going. Hmm. But, like, yeah. flex bone trips. Like, I don't study football, so... It's like, oh, you gotta know what that stuff is. You idiot. It's weird playing these old football games, too, because it's like when the football bounces off them, it's just like smack, smack. <laughs> yeah, out of bounds. That's nice. Turn it over, too. It's great when they just start off, like, tackling each other. Yeah. They're just lying there dead. <laughs> yeah, that's the only thing that's, too, that's weird with these is, like, just trying to get used to the controls. Mm. It's like it would be fun if you actually knew what to do. But I keep hitting X and it keeps doing other weird things. Mm. Oh, it must be time for that. Huh. Interesting. I do like the way it is. Like, it's really fast paced. Whereas, like, if you play, like, the new Madden games, like Madden 16, it's really, like, down. Huh, it's so realistic that it's, like, okay. Whoo, 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 yeah. Play, and this one is just, like, da -da 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 bam. Yeah. Well, it looks like it froze, so I'm going to hit reset. Now I'm going to hand it off to you for Blast Chamber. I don't really Blast remember what Chamber. this one is. I have a weird, I have a tiny memory about what it is. It's like a puzzle game. Blast Chamber. Blast Chamber. Kindergarten. Airlift. If you have one controller, you will control player one. Counter Blitz. Counter Ooh, huh. That must be multiplayer stuff. Yeah. Cool. Alright, yes. what is this? You have a time bomb strapped to your chest. The clock is ticking. Your goal is to escape the chamber before time runs out. Obtain the glowing crystal. Rotate the chamber by pushing against the flashing arrows. Put the crystal into the colored gold to stop your clock and escape the chamber. Hmm. So you're going to die, and you got to prevent yourself from dying. <sighs> oh, yeah, you got to collect that orb. Portal. And you're on a timer, so no screwing around. This is like a dark... This is like Portal. It is Portal. Oh, yeah, you got to push on the arrows. Oh, pushes... Oh. And then you, you collect that it. orb... And then go out that door. So yeah, it's basically what you said. It's like a version of Portal. Oh, you gotta stand on that green thing. Oh, well, that was lucky. That was really lucky. I didn't even hit push once. I just sort of... Well done. Well that done. cake. Alright, that's it. Good job. <laughs> Airlift. Air Funny thing is, too, is like, even after game collecting, like, Whee! oh, that's kind of cool. Whoa. That's cool, too, that, like, that orb will, like, drop yeah. down. Now everything's gotten, like, super complex. Hey, am I supposed to do? It, do? it reminds me of school. It's like, oh, here's this cute little math problem, tiny little math problem. One plus one is two. 2 plus 2 is 4. Okay, you, you good to go? Okay, here's your test. Ah. 3x minus 2yb plus 3x squared. You're yeah. like, what? 
after teaching basic addition and subtraction. It's like, yeah. that's how that's spelled. It's like, here you go. Oh, <laughs> that takes you up into spikes. That's cool. <laughs> but yeah, like what you were saying, it's like definitely um, old school. Too bad. Too bad. Oh, jeez. Oh, jeez. Oh, fall out from under you. Talk about learning by tri that fire background. by trial. Trial that by fire. That background thing looks like a brain. Yeah. It, like it reminds me of a brain or something. I was thinking like a Star Trekian warp engine. I don't know. What did I, what did I hit? Oh, the, the glowy thing? I'm not sure. Something might have shot out. And... Yeah, maybe that green glowy thing going back and forth hit me. So we got to get over to the Xbox logo. So oh, if you yeah. run over the, that's going to push you into the oh, spike. Oh, shoot, so. the fan. Holy shnikes. That was way more powerful than the other one, which was like, eh, you know? Oh. Well, what the frick? I, I, don't, I don't know what that was about. Yeah. You shouldn't have blown up. I don't know why he did. It's the fan blew me into the spikes again. I guess that platform took him all the way over there. The depth of this is kind of hard to tell, like, where I'm at. Jeez. Yeah, oh, I jumped into it. Smoke. I shouldn't have jumped into it. I jumped up. It's a puzzle game, that's for sure. So just run up there and push. Oh! Oh, jeez. I keep thinking I gotta jump because the thing's opening. It didn't even drop me in the full... In... Maybe that's not really that much of a danger. Maybe I'm worrying too much. <clears throat> I thought when you ran over there... Yeah, because there's an ah. arrow right there. Yeah. You should be able just to like walk into it. It's not letting me froze I can have it okay no jump too soon Just so to jump on that first trigger first. that and then maybe you have to jump off of it and then jump yeah there we go now I have to rotate this platform so how the heck do I do that I'm stuck here can I push it from here hmm. I still don't know what the square or X does <clears throat> Just banging your head against the wall. <clears throat> I think so. Oh, thank you, Chris. There's no way up there. Pink things right there. Oh, yeah. Yeah, and that takes you up into the spikes. Yeah. Sci fi. Huh. It's got, like, it kind of reminds me of, like, Resident What? Oh, yeah, you hit that fan. Nikes. Like you did it's before. It's weird, because those don't push me into the spikes anymore. Oh, now I'm starting to burst into flames. We need to find out what it's like to die from not having enough time. <laughs> wow. I like the death animation yeah. like when he dies. just freaks out. It's like, I know I have to push into that thing. And it says squares the push button. If squares the push button, is there something we have to push? Because you said you've just been walking into things. Yeah, I've just been walking into it. It works fine. Uh, and I, I, I tried the square button. It didn't do anything. Okay. No, that fan's still going. It is still going. So I'm not gonna. I'm not gonna. So. Worry about that. So get up on top. And then just run all the way. Now turn around and fall down. Yeah. You're right. And now we gotta jump over that thing. Can you okay. jump over that barricade? Ah. Alright, now. Now I hit a button. Did that turn off the fan? No, the fan's still going. I don't know what that did you can't jump over it right no oh i know what i have to do i see it now well wait is that a time limit thing oh ah there we go the fans deactivated yeah nice nice finally 
this game looks like it would actually be really, really fun if we got, like, the actual full game. Mm -hmm. And apparently it's only, like, 12 bucks, and if there's a lot going on with it... Oh, crap. Corner Blitz. This is, like, multiplayer. Oh. Up to four players can play with a multi-tap. In this demo version, on-screen opponents are not computer-controlled. Invite your friends. That's huh. kind of cool. Yeah, I guess you have to do multiplayer. <sighs> yeah, everyone's just like... <gasps> That's awesome. Like, oh, boom! Oh, push. There, that's why there's a push button. <laughs> oh, that's cool. So, oh, like, why there's multiple ones? Wow, this game would be intense playing with multiple multiple people. That would be crazy. You're messing everybody else up. Yeah, because you grab the orb, and all someone has to do is that. Red guy's about to die. Bye. <laughs> Oh, that's their death counter. Yeah, it looks like the whole round's done. So that looks like it'd be really fun as a multiplayer game, too. Oh, it's one of those images. If you rotate it, it looks diff like something else from a different mm -hmm. angle. There's like It's a face from one angle and a hand from another angle. All right, so that was Blast Chamber, and now I'm going to play 2 Extreme. We're too extreme, bro! And this is another game I used to play all the time here on this demo disc when I was growing up. And I always love doing the skateboarding one. Whoa, it's weird. We're gonna carve, bro! Huh. Okay, so that's how you jump square. Wall of spikes. And I don't, like, right here you can hit those ramps and stuff. Looks like Christmas trees, too. Hmm. Sounds like oh. Primus playing. Seinfeld. <laughs> Chess master? And I'm not sure what to do. I don't know if you do tricks. I know I'm in last place. I know it's like a race. Yeah. You get miles per hour. Tenth, tenth place. It's counting up. Huh. It's like, am I, am I even going downhill? No. It's like, no, you're just going straight, because that's how snowboarding works. <laughs> cross that, country, too. Cross-country snowboarding. Yeah. Fox? fox? There's an actual fox. That's wandering awesome. Wandering through the arena. Not a gray fox, a red fox. I wonder if going through there... Oh, it's a deer. Because something keeps changing. I went through that one, and it put a spring up, and now this one put up a dumbbell. On the lower left hand side. Huh. Every time I go through those things. This is a long track. Yeah, really. Like, I did not think it was going to be that long. I remember playing one game and it was skateboarding. I don't remember this. Hmm. I mean, I, I vaguely remember the snowboarding one. Yeah. Tricks, knockdowns. So you can do a lot of stuff. And it probably froze. Alright, so whatever. That was too extreme, and now we're going to go to NHL Faceoff 97. And I'm going to hand it off to you. Uh oh. Yeah, read it and memorize it, too. Yeah. Hold X and press X for a fake shot. You can fake shot. I like the sound effects. <laughs> really bright oh yeah you gotta sit there and oh okay a, a some... oh yeah well at least they got the icing so it's your puck but now you gotta I don't know which button to hit square or what to try to steal the puck then you can check people that's why I love hockey games like this you get them and smash them up against the, the wall like that you can like, slam them against the wall pretend you're a bash brother from the mighty ducks Mario Lemieux. It's funny that I even recognize that name. Lemieux. Now you got icing. And yeah, you're going to probably oh. have to... Utilize. Okay, now you got the pucks, so now you can pass it to one of your guys. But you have to aim and figure out... What? Yeah, it was a frozen puck because you didn't pass it. Okay. None of my guys were there. Is there a button to switch players? 
I think so. There's a button that you can switch players, a button to pass, and a button to shoot. Okay. Well, see, that was the pass button. Yeah, I was hitting the pass button, not the shoot button. Looks like it froze. Alright, so that was NHL Faceoff 97, even though you barely got to play it because the stupid thing froze. And now oh, I'm going to play. Ooh, Tekken 2. Nice. Oh, yeah, I always love these cinematic cutscenes, too. <laughs> yeah. They're pretty epic. Hey, Hachi. And the music, too, is awesome. I think that's Paul. Yeah. Yeah. I always called him Johnny Bravo. Yeah. That Li Wu Long. I forgot her name. Yoshimitsu. That, I think, is Nino. Oh, yeah. It's like, oh, ooh. <laughs> right. Ooh. Ooh, flip that hair. Yeah. Ooh. Right. Then you got Law. Those are those robots. Jack. Yeah, Jack, Gun Jack. Terminators. Drunk. Okay. That's the thing, I don't know what the storyline is. Like, yeah. obviously it's like portraying, like showing all these stories. Like I there's this drunk the dude crashing into a garbage can. Huh. And then somebody walks over and drops the mask down King, yeah. that wrestler. Mm -hmm. Demo. Weird. Okay. I don't know what it's doing. It's like it's all frozen. It wouldn't let me pick, so I guess I'm her. I, uh... I, I always thought it was cool that you could select different outfits depending on which button you hit. No, yeah. Oh, that was weird. Like a weird camera angle. Thank you! I wonder if you get... No, you can't even hit pause. I don't know. I hit pause and select, and then it does weird stuff like this. Mm. You're supposed to get your your moves menu. I guess they didn't include it, and so it froze. It's like, I feel like they, for putting it on a demo disc, they just, like, cut so much stuff, just, just like, like ripped it out, and just left random code, and, and it just gets glitchy as all heck. Yeah, because when it first popped up on the arcade thing, I was like, okay, up and down. And it just sat there and it wouldn't do anything. Hmm. And I was like, okay. And then I pushed a button and it insta instantly made a noise. It was like, ka-ting! I was like, oh, okay. Can I move? No. And then it just like went in hmm. to the character select screen and then it just automatically picked that character. Yeah, like right there. It was just like, bink! And hmm. then it sat. Huh. And I was like, okay, up, down, nothing. Oh, you only have arcade mode. Push P1 start button. Okay. And then you freak out and you do that. So I'm going to do this. And you won't do nothing. I'll do it again. You don't do nothing. Well, you got to hit start. I do, and then it freaks out. Now what do I go into pause? Here. Up, down, left, right, nothing. Okay, so all you get is arcade. Try hitting start there. Okay. I think you just blocked out the... <laughs> there we go. Alright. So Lee and June. Jun. He's got a gun. Yeah. I wonder if he, he ever He never uses... uses it, yeah. Ahoo! What? Ahoo! That was the first time I ever heard him say anything like that. Lands right, right on, on her, her head. neck. Just busts her neck. Wow, he is a drunken police officer. That's what I was wondering. It's like he's like the next drunken master. I wonder if he is. Is he supposed to be like doing drunken boxing? I think he he was based on Jackie Chan, from what I but I get that more from Tekken Three than I do from this. No, she's just gonna annihilate me. Mm. Just 
spamming. <laughs> This is how you fight in real life. Yeah. Oh, punch, kick, and you just stand there and take it. Yeah. It'd be funny if you just fell on his face. Bam. <laughs> Alright, so that was Tekken 2, which I think would be fun to actually play through all the Tekken games sometime. Yeah, that'd be cool. So, oh, racing. And now you got a racing game, so you I get am... to play a racing game now. Yeah. Wow, well, they actually reverse. have a reverse button. Reverse brake, get up here, accelerate. Then. Triangle doesn't do nothing. Camera out. Camera in. Great. You just hear the tires just going to town on that. Yeah. It's kind of cool though, hearing all that. <laughs> It's like, wow, I like that sound. Yeah, now imagine hearing that in real life. In your real car, you go to start up your car and you start driving, that's what you hear. <laughs> All right, driving to work. That's sometimes I hear that in this town. Yeah. Some vehicles sound like that. Timing belt, just going nuts. No. Oh, no. I just lost all my, all my lead way. Ah, I just lost my place in here. I'm last now. Oh, I'm 22. There's two people behind me. Can you change angles too? Uh, I don't I know. I think it was I like L1 try. and R1. I thought. Is it? Oh, yeah. But now I'm stuck. I don't know what the frick's going on. All right. Like there's so much noise going on. Yeah. I'm starting to hear like cop cars. I know there's no cop cars, but I'm just. <laughs> it's just everything. It's yeah, like, the music is going on. What's going on. Ooh, you're gonna pass him. Oh. Then he's like, he's cutting you off. Oh, oh, I almost had him. Jeepers. I should have slammed on the brakes more. So I could get around that corner. I flew out. No reason. It's apparently three laps. Huh. Congratulations, you got 20th place. Good job, <laughs> you got a participation man. award. Whoa. And then Rally Cross. They got a lot of racing games in here. So there's Ridge Racer. Formula One, Two Extreme, which is basically a racing game, Rally Cross, and then that's just a videos. Yeah, video demo. But boy, they're really heck bent on showing racing games. Yeah. Rock right, rock left, shift up, shift down. So you can do manual. You have to work the clutch too. Huh. Crazy. Okay. That's weird seeing a loading screen go in the opposite way. Yeah. With a loading bar. I kind of like it. I kind of like the countdown better. Clutch. What, I'm in neutral? <laughs> yeah. <laughs> you are. I was, too. Oh, <laughs> this is weird. What? Where's it? Where'd everyone else go? There's, like, blockades here. All right, so how do I go in reverse? <laughs> that would be, like, a really messed up game. Is this like everybody races around the corner and then you get to there and there's nothing around the corner? <laughs> yeah. Nowhere to go. Somehow you got turned around? What the heck happened? Turn around. This is the controls for this are really weird. Yeah. So I'm going. Okay, so where's that guy going? I didn't see. Oh, it's to the left. He went left. It's not. It's Let's see, like here, I right. want to back up. Oh. There's and no I don't back know up. How. And apparently you're supposed to like switch Clutch. gears, but what gear am I in? It doesn't say. Yeah, there's no, absolutely no way of telling you. This is terrible. And they got all these numbers and like I can't see anything. It's hard to explain, but it's like there's all these, and he's just turned to the right. I literally held down the left button. He just turned to the right on his own. And you can't back up, which is ridiculous. So square is break, triangle, I don't know what that does. Circle just does that. L1, R1, L2, nothing. <laughs> oh, so L1, or R1 switches gear. And then R2, I'm in neutral. L1, now I'm in reverse. So you have to do like L1 and R1. 
What the heck? <laughs> How do you drive this thing? I want to go up here. Yeah, these controls are like really, really wonky. So you don't switch. So you switch gears, but only when you stop. If I want to go in reverse, I have to switch gears. Look at that, waterfall. That's kind of cool. Yeah. But like that, when you touch anything, it like whips the car around all weird-like. See, right now it's automatically Rick. switching gears. So now I have to hit L1 to go to neutral, L1 again to go in reverse, and now R1, R1, and now I don't have to touch them ever again. Okay. Un until like, I come to a stop. But like, look, look at this. Which way do you go? Well, fire, follow the tracks. It's just, it's so hard to like see where you're going. This would be a game you'd really have to get used to the controls with big time. Because you basically just hold X and drive like any normal game. Huh? But like ah! I said, it's once you like crash and start getting all turned around, then it gets all screwed up and like completely ruins the gameplay. Left. Ha! Oh, rock. so that's what R2 and L2 is. Rock? Rock back and forth. Rock the cradle of love? Car, I don't know what their problem the was, over. but like, they decided to try to utilize every single button on the controller mm -hmm. and make it like really cryptic. Like, oh, you fall down. Well, instead of flipping the car over on its own, you can rock it back and forth. <laughs> it's like, okay. Like right there. He, it, It's almost like, well... Yeah, it's like driving in real life in the snow. Yeah. Imagine driving in the snow up here in northwest Wisconsin. You're driving on the road, and all of a sudden there's like a drift. Mm -hmm. And there's like a patch of snow on the right-hand side of the road. You hit that drift, bam, and it like whips you to the side. That's yeah. what this game feels like it does. It's like all of a sudden you'll be driving, and it just like pulls me. It's just like bam and slams you. I like the look of it. I always like that deserty look. Yeah. You're like trying to just drive straight on a straight path. It's like just. <laughs> Freaking. Freaking out. I've never been up here, I don't think, either. I'm like up on top of the mountains. And Tiny Tank will be up here driving <laughs> around. Downsized. Well, there's the top of the waterfall. Yeah, look at that garbage. Non compost metal. <laughs> So I got myself stuck. It's like, no, they want it to be... I'm, I'm trying to rock, too, and it's not doing nothing. Great love. Don't what the heck? I am true. legit stuck in the rock. <laughs> There's nothing you can do. <laughs> this is a great game, isn't it? Because I'm trying to turn. I'm trying to do everything. And apparently there's no time limit either. So you can just do this forever. And it acts like you get close too, like when you switch gears. It's like you go boom, boom, boom. This is a bad game. <laughs> what are you talking about? This is like the greatest game in the world. People talk about Bubsy 3D and being one of the worst. This is right up there with Bubsy 3D. <laughs> Well, oops, I hit the select button. Shoot. I was like, maybe there's a map. <laughs> they can get us off this rock. <laughs> All right, so that was terrible rally cross. And what a way to end the playable demos, too. This is, that's the actual official title, terrible rally cross. <laughs> and then after that, we got the video. So let's check out NFL Game Day 97. You ready to watch it? Oh, yeah. Let's watch a video. All right. NFL players in court. Game, game. Hey. Hey, the Green Bay Packers. All right. So I think it's just, I don't know, just a demo of the playing. I thought there was going to be like a trailer, but it might just be like a little bit of a demo. Don Beebe. That's weird, seeing like the old players like this again. 
<laughs> like Brett Favre. Yeah. It is, too. Yeah. Robert Brooks. That's crazy. <laughs> wonder who else. I can't remember. Reggie White. <laughs> but that's one thing, too. I love the sound effects, too. Yeah, just, just throw it out of bounds. Why not? <laughs> I love that sound effect. Just killing each other on the field. <laughs> Blood everywhere. That's also why I love NFL Blitz so much. Like, NFL Blitz is like you literally pick people up and body slam them and do crazy stuff. Nice. Well, that's pretty cool. Let's Jet Moto. All right. Well, it's funny you say NFL Wrestling. Vince McMahon actually owns something like the XFL. Oh, really? Extreme Football League. Oh, really? I think I've heard of that, yeah. That's weird. It's like surfer music, even though it's Jet Moto. Yeah. It's like a jet ski, but you're in, like, sand and stuff, too. That's weird. This part sounds like surfing music, yeah. but then it started sounding like, um, James Bond. Yeah. It is. Bum, -ba -dum 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 -dum. Well, Tickle James yours. Bond, there is some of the element of that in James Bond music. Yeah, surfer. Dun -dun 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 -dun. Yeah. But what's weird is it sounds like a spy movie or something. Yeah. Yeah, like a 70s spy movie. You're a spy. Riding on a jet bike. <laughs> like, what is that? Is that a bike? But it's like it's going in water, too. Yeah, I don't know. It's on sand. That looks cool. It, I've, I always love that look where you're out in, like, the middle of the jungle, whoa. and here's, like, this huge cave. And even that, too. I always like this, yeah, this surreal thing where it's, like, floating above a city. Who knows what it's made of? That looks like Mario Kart. Like yeah. Rainbow Road. Oh, yeah. Ah. But it's, I, I hate that it's so dark you can't tell what's going on. Camera battery died, so I gotta plug that in. Oh. Alright, so that was Jet Moto. That looks like a pretty fun game. I definitely wouldn't mind picking it up just because I love the look of yeah. the different areas. Those levels are pretty cool. Now, you and I played through Twisted Metal 1. This is the video for Twisted Metal 2. Oh, right. Which I really want to go through and play. All right. I used to love playing this as a kid. It does look cool. I, I do like the Twisted Metal games. Formula 1. <laughs> of course, That's the music. Weird. I always love the music. I love that they have just strange characters and strange vehicles in there. Yeah, I can't remember the guy. It was like Axel, I think. But there is, like, a story reason, like, why, like, he got his arms, like, cut in half or <laughs> something. They had to stick him in these tires. I don't remember. <laughs> but it is, like, really cool how, like, each character has their own storyline. Well, he's broken his arms. We're <laughs> going to have to attach an axle to them. Uh, Doctor, won't it affect him that there's these tires stuck <laughs> to them? No, no, no. It's great. It's great. <laughs> <laughs> it was the only possible procedure to save his life. And that's the thing, too, like, after playing Twisted Metal 1 and then looking at this, it's like, this is a legit awesome sequel. It'll huh. look like a lot more cars. Huh. Areas look bigger. Yeah. Mona Lisa. <laughs> oh, yeah, and it shows, like, a secret, too. Oh, cool. You can destroy some You can destroy the Mona Lisa, and I think there's, like, a secret behind it. Huh. Or right there, look at that. Destroy the That tower. would not fly today. Oh, no, <laughs> that would not. So, there you go. That was the demo disc. So it looks nice. like we accomplished everything. Cool. All right, so that was Interactive CD Sample pa Sampler Pack Volume 3 Demo Disc for the PS1 or original PlayStation. So what did you think? I liked a few games. I disliked a few games. Yeah. What I found really interesting, too, is that they had a lot of racing games. Yeah, a lot. Like, the only, what I would consider, like, game games, like... Well, Crash Bandicoot. Mm -hmm. What was the other one? That Blast Chamber. Yeah, I like and that. And stuff like that. And that looked like it was pretty fun. But yeah, all the racing games and then a few of the sports games. It's I think like, it goes to show that the, the racing games don't sell themselves. Yeah. So they had to put them on the demo disc. Now, Crash Bandicoot might have sold itself, but they still needed to do some marketing for it to make it more their mascot. Yeah. Yeah, that was the thing, too. Like, some of these games I'd be really interested in picking up. Like, even just watching the video for Jet Moto, it was like just seeing those different environments. It was like, whoa, that I, yeah, looks awesome. Yeah, that does look cool, actually. Yeah, and like I said, with this demo disc, this was my original demo disc I had as a kid. So, of course, it's pretty scratched up, and it's irritating that it keeps freezing on us. So, I definitely do need to get it buffed out. Yeah. 
But uh, that's the one thing I think it's funny with these demo discs is it's like, oh, you get a couple little demos, but we spent like an hour and a half yeah. playing this thing. You can really rip into some demos. It's pretty cool. Which is really weird because I don't think a lot of people really talk about or even play much of these demo discs. No, I never not, hear. That's of... true. I've got a whole stack of them, but I I do like to play through those every once in a while. It's just kind of cool. Yeah, like I said, I never hear anyone talking about them, but it's like you really do get a lot of gameplay out of these. Yeah, I think the demo disc is probably one of the reasons why I bought a PlayStation. Is because I got one in the mail. And uh, I'm like, oh, this is pretty cool. And I brought it to a friend's house, and we played the demo disc. I'm like, oh, this is awesome. And uh, I, you know, never had a, a console that advanced before, so I, uh, I bought a, a console, and I'm like, uh, so, and I bought the games for it and stuff like that. And I went back to the friend and I'm like, hey, you got that demo disc still? He's like, I don't know. It, we lost it. it. It got broke. This game had Blast Chamber. Yeah. I've never heard of Blast Chamber anywhere else. Uh -huh. Like, even as a collector, I've never seen it. I've never even heard about it. Yeah. Like, even watching all these other gaming channels, no one ever talked about Blast Chamber. And that might be a way to find, like, more obscure PlayStation games. It's to, like, look up these these demo discs and, like, see, like, there's got to be a list of demo discs and the games that are on them. Yeah. And it'd be cool to find some of those games and just play them, like Blast Chamber. That looked like a cool game. All right, now, as far as the actual time it took for us to go through this game and beat, I guess we beat it, mm -hmm. uh, about an hour and a half. Hmm. And we just kind of, like, flew through the games, yeah. too, like, hurried up and played them. Yeah. So I do believe you can get quite a bit of good gameplay out of these things. Yeah. Like I said, I expected cool. to put it in and see like maybe five games. Yeah. I did not expect to see like a whole. I could, I didn't remember that it had all those different games. It was kind of disappointing that there is like a bunch of racing and then a bunch of sports. Yeah, it's like okay, cool, a football game. Okay, cool, a hockey. But then they had like three or four racing games. Mm -hmm. It's like well, come on, you could have done Ridge Racer and then been done with it. But Rallycross, that was just terrible. <laughs> But yeah, we definitely got some good gameplay out of it. Stuck it in, sat down for a yeah. good hour and a half, and enjoyed what it had to offer. Nice. And now we know what games to avoid. <laughs> yeah, exactly. Now we know to stay Don't away from... Don't play Rallycross. Yeah. <laughs> so, as far as the price goes for the game, you can get it on eBay, and it actually does have like a case, like one of those, I think, cardboard cases or whatever you can just slip into. This game sells for about 10 bucks. So do you think that this game is worth 10 bucks? No. <laughs> I mean, I you do get a lot of gameplay out of it. There's a lot of games on there. And yeah. I guess you know, each it's like a bunch of little mini games. Um like, PlayStation Classic. You're like getting half the value of the PlayStation Classic and that costs how much? Yeah, you can it's, get like the PlayStation Classic for like 40 bucks. Yeah. And they have 20 games on there, but it's the entire game. Yeah, it's true. It's the entire game. It's not just they're not demos like this yeah. is. I don't know. It's like... Yeah, that's the thing we talk about prices. If it was so rare that it's worth a million dollars, well, then collectors would be like, oh, I'll buy it for a million bucks. Yeah. But it's like, you know, is the gameplay worth it? I think it's worth, like, a, uh, $2. <laughs> yeah, that's what I was going to say. To me, it's pretty much like a $3 game. Yeah. That's kind of what it reminds me of. It's like, you I spend get, three bucks. Yeah, I got some fun out of it because you can toggle around and play, but, you know, you don't get very far. Yeah, and there's not really a whole lot of replay with yeah. it either. I I don't know. It's it's not. It's it, yeah, three dollars I guess max. But yeah, like I said, to me it's worth like two, maybe three bucks max. Yeah. And that's I would get them just for like the sake of nostalgia too. Yeah. I think they're cool, but you know I pay three dollars for them. Yeah, like I said, if you can find it cheap enough, I think it'd be cool to get and check it out because maybe there's mm -hmm. some hidden gems in there yeah. that you never knew about. And that, that's the thing is, like I say, well, it's only worth two dollars. Well, I actually do pay often two dollars. I don't know, maybe I paid three dollars for a demo disc before, but two, two to three dollars is all I ever pay for it. Yeah, otherwise, really nothing too much to say. Was it fun? Yeah, it was fun. It, like I said, it was fun. It'd be nice if you could pick it up for two, three bucks. You can throw it in, get a good hour and a half of gameplay out of it, and I think it's pretty enjoyable. So with that being said, we're going to take off. So whatever. I'm Janitor Jake. I'm Chris K. And we will see you guys next time.